basically. Uh, do you remember I mentioned Polar? Um, is coming back. Well, Polo has come back, and Eric Costa is debuting a Polo Skate Co. Nike S Nike SB Air Trainer One. Right? Interesting because um, Nike SB tried to bring the Air Trainer into this SB family. It didn't quite work out when they brought their Air Trainer Two. Do you remember that? The Air Trainer Two that Supreme did a collaboration with. I'll, I'll just get up here on the picture so you guys can see Supreme Air Trainer right, Two. They tried to they tried to make it happen, but it just didn't work. I don't know. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if it was at the, the time kids were interested in it. But I think it was one of my favorite sneaker collaborations that Supreme done in a while. I really liked them. Um, they came in four four colorways: white, the standard colors they always do, right? White, red, and blue. Or usually, usually it's the white, black, and red, and then the third color is like a little funky one. But I quite like the trainer. I actually had an OG pair that I uh, unfortunately sold like an idiot. But I like the shoe. It's an Air Trainer 2. Um, there was, there's a lot of story behind this that I kind of found out whilst I was reading the, the Nike Talk forums. There's a lot of like enthusiastic Air Trainer fans on there. It was fairly heavy to wear, to be honest. Not the most comfortable of shoe. Oh, yeah, the Gold Box SB era. I remember that. But yeah, one of my favorite shoes. Again, it, the, the colorway in black was just insane. That looks so, so, so nice. Um, real, 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 real big fan of the shoe overall. Uh, again, severely underrated in terms of the lineup of Supreme shoes. They, so they tried it. They tried to bring this in and it didn't quite work. Again, I'm not sure because in that era, um, there was a lot of minimal or a lot of like, you know, slip-ons, a lot of really uh, vulcanized shoes, really slim silhouettes. So maybe this big clunky shoe didn't really work. But nowadays with the resurgence of DC and people steering more towards that kind of, you know, Look at the look at the shoe that Issa Rocky designed for Under Armour, right? That was inspired by the the Osiris, right? You know, like people are moving more towards that kind of chunky shoe trend. There are a lot of kids. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say people are moving towards it, but there is um there is a market for it. Because when I go to a skate when I, when I go to the skate park in Bethnal Green, uh, in Milan, sorry, most of the kids there are still wearing cons, you know, um, and stuff like that. So those shoes are still reign supreme for the most part. But I'm interested to see if this will work. Um, bringing back this Air Trainer One and the like, um, SB family again. It's, it's with Polar, so it's with like a, a reputable brand, somebody that has a lot of um, weight in the industry. So might, that might go some way, and maybe again the kids might think, "Oh, this is a good way to get involved, uh, get this kind of trend back in tune." Maybe we might see an actual video of some, you know, cool New York guys skating in the shoe that might kind of bring it back to life. But I'm not too sure if it's gonna work. But again, I like it as overall. Anything with a gum sole, you know me. I, I'm I'm a fucking you know I'm a fiend for gum sole shoes. So that's amazing. I like the paneling on it. I like the fact that it's got a little suede um, or new buck. It seems like on the toe box. So of course, if you skate these, they'll fade out quite nicely. Get some nice marks all over them. Um, again, the colors relate back to polo overall. It's probably a great collaboration to come out when you when you restart your brand. This is quite a cool thing to come out. Really cool look. They've allowed him to change the the font name on the front of the toe box there so you can put his brand there so instead of nike i think it's air is it nike air? they've got the polar right here on the front and it's strap actually um eric costa's actually got another picture that shows the original what does it say on the front there it says nike yes yeah, so they're able to change that into polar so yeah i wish to see how that works if it's going to work with the air trainer one maybe it will this they always do this right nike they always introduce they always reintroduce a retro Usually, if you have a collaboration, and then they kind of iterate it out from then on. So I'm, I'm assuming we're going to see GR releases of this shoe come out later on. We're probably going to see a core because they, they, I think for each model they have a black and white version and a white and black version, right? I'm pretty sure, right? For the dunk, dunk mid, dunk high, for the um, what's that called? What's that one? That's, what's that kind of boat shoe one? No, I think most shoes. I think anyway. I think I'm pretty sure most Nike SB shoes or all the ranges have a core black and white gum sole version that kind of you know they kind of sell year in year out basically to most um general skate shops out there but again yes yeah, meant to come out it meant to come out no date of it coming oh actually there is a day june 10th it's meant to come out on june 10th um eric costin here debuting it the polar air trainer one let's see if that works out for them <laughs>